care. Crappy job. Enter at your own risk. <laughs> oh there, where might you be going, Witcher? What's it to you? Leave Vizima and your friend Dandelion will pay for it with his neck. You have a debt to pay, member? Yeah, I'm member. Now, will you let me inside? I'm told you're no a bad dice player. Fancy a game? Hmm. Why not? I have some time. Yes, what is it?
Yes, what is it? The devil! To be fleeced by a plain witcher! No offense. None taken. Lots of people think of us as mindless sword swingers. Yes, what is it? I'll find you later. Come on, hit him! Get up your twit! Fight! The Rivian's worry. I doubt anyone can take him. Lost again? Gambling would be my undoing. What do you want? I heard some serious prize fighting goes on here. It just might. If you got the balls. I want to fight. Very well. To reach the final, you've got to beat Lizard and Rymouth. You survive them. You go on to fight the Rivian, our current champ. Tell the Rivian to start warming up. Ready for Lizard? It's 75 Arons to enter. I need to prepare. What do you want? How's the prize fighting these days? Not your plowing business. Want entertainment? Try a brothel. I hear the eager thighs is good these days. What are Dandelion's chances? Don't you worry. The Alderman wanted him to hang, but Dandelion knew who to come to, so he'll be released in a few days for lack of evidence. Yes? What's going on here? Who are all these people? A perfect illustration of what happens when city guards are underpaid. Captain Dubin, as an enterprising young man, started up a little scheme to generate some additional personal income. I thought I saw prisoners duking it out in the other cell. Bullseye. Turns out illegal fights are a gold mine. The audience are all rich, bored burgers who'll pay lots of coin to see a bit of blood, sweat and tears shed for their entertainment. Dandelion, I know you borrowed money from Glover. Since when have you been spying on me? Since you started running with the wrong people. 
Do you have any idea who Glover is? A reasonable man of business. Stop worrying about me. Diplomacy is one of my fortes. Glover is a murderer. He keeps two wyverns in his cellar, feeds them anyone who crosses him. And he's got a legion of bandits just like him. Exaggerating as usual. He won't dare touch me. I'm a famous bard. I've performed at the courts of kings. I doubt Glover would be impressed. He's going to strangle you. Yes? Take care of yourself, Dandelion. What do you want? I'm here to fight. Ready for Lizard? It's 75 Arons to enter. No need to put this off. I like that attitude. Alright, in the cell you go. You've a fist of stone, Witcher. I feel sorry for your woman. The fist is part of the job. I'm not in the habit of beating my woman. A woman unwhipped gives lots of lip. Go see Ralph to collect your reward. Congratulations. Your 150 orins and the entrance fee. That was just a warm-up. Ready for Rymouth? Takes 125 orins to enter. Ready. Get in the cell. My teeth! Son of a bitch, you knocked my teeth out! Cut the drama. They were rotten anyway. Fuck off! Fucking guard has your coin! Don't come round here no more! Nice fight. Your prize. 250 orins and the entrance fee. Great. Time for the Rivian. The Rivian has accepted your challenge. 225 orins and you buy yourself in. Bet on me, Captain. I'm in. The Rivian's pretty tough. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Witcher, heard you're having problems with Glover. You help me, and I'll help you. You see, I have to win this fight. Ralph promised to release me if I do. I guess I think a countryman's freedom is pretty important. All right. What do you want me to do? I knew I could count on you. Drop your guard to show me where you want to get hit. I'll try to go easy.
You and I, we're brothers. Look for Rivians if you ever need a hand. All right, I will. But if that was easy, I'd hate to see you hit hard. Bah, <laughs> don't exaggerate. You're taking the fun away. If I'd gone too easy, Ralph might have noticed. Listen, go chat him up. He's eyeing us suspiciously. That Rivian smashed you, Witcher. I've had enough. Looks like the title is just out of my reach. What do you want? See ya. I owe you my freedom, Witcher. Can't forget that. Boy, stare. Never seen a Rivian rough. You think, just because I'm Rivian, hands to yourself. Traipsing around. Lost my entire soldier's pay. Well, I drink now. Hmm. We drink to riches until we have them no more. So says a certain dwarf I know. <gasps> Take care. <gasps> Take care.
Will it be handsome? Still interested in that turquoise ring? Have you found one? I believe so. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Here's the key. But remember, it's bad luck to enter the house on odd numbered days. Or is it even numbered? What'll it be, handsome? I stripped Oral and Gun of all their coin. Bravo! They must be livid, I wager. Though it's a shame they'll have nothing left to lose to me. You are going to tell me a secret. Big fish are hard to come by in the Temple Quarter. But I happen to know a place where rich burghers from the Trade Quarter convene secretly to cast a few hands. And they're ripe for plucking? I like the sound of that. Please, take this key. It opens a concealed passageway to the secret meeting place. I also have a gift for you. Something that will help you charm any cultured lady. The formula for a perfume. I am eternally indebted. Farewell. Hairs like milk. How come? Look lively.
Looking for adventure? Hey! Somebody called for you down that dark alley! Someone stole my trousers. Wait till I catch them. Looking for adventure? Pick any wench, but handle carefully. They work under our protection. Looking for adventure? Hey! Somebody called for you down that dark alley! You look lost. Looking for adventure? I owe you my freedom, Witcher. Can't forget that.
What do you want? I found a pendant representing Laura Doran. Interested? Wonderful. A fine piece of work. Laura Doran Epp Sheardall in profile. Do you know about her? Quite an unusual tale. Her romance with a human might have changed the fate of both humans and elves. Yeah, pretty sad story. Instead of uniting the races, it widened the rift between them. Though Laura met her death at the hands of humans, her elven brethren were the first to deliver a blow, condemning her for loving Kregenin. Shame. Damn shame. The pendant is lovely. I'll take it for fifty orans. Might you be interested in a jug of buttermilk? A good peasant brought it. I'd hate to see it go to waste, and I've always found it rather unpalatable. Thanks. I'll come by if I find anything else. What do you want? Everton, I found this strange stone. Don't know quite what to make of it. Let me see. Witcher, you have found one of the ten Sephiroth. Magic imbued stones fashioned by the gnomes, the eldest of the sentient races. I believe this is the Tipperath. Gnomes are pretty good at working metal. I'd really love to have one of their Gwihir swords, supposed to be the best in the world. The little devils believe alchemy is the key to omniscience. The Sephiroth are their mystical stones. What a joy to have the Tipperath in my collection. I'll give you fifty orans for it, and this herb manual. Great. I'll come by if I find anything else. What do you want? What do you want? Greetings. I'm new here, my good man. Not a face in here I can call familiar. <laughs> Is this a high-stakes place? Seems that way to me. Care for a game? My wife will have my head if I come home empty-handed.
My wife will have my head if I come home empty-handed. My wife will have my head if I come home empty-handed. By the gods, what ill luck. I can practically see the bottom of my coin pouch. I shall have to tell my wife I was robbed. <laughs> or you could play on. Greetings to the Honorable Geralt of Rivia. Might I propose a friendly game of dice? I wager you have the necessary funds at your disposal. Kind of you to offer. Actually, I'd be honored to sit down in such illustrious company. Care for a game? Care for a game?
care for a game? Truth be told, luck is not with me today. Fortune has bestowed her favor upon others. I am straight broke, my dear Mr. Geralt, and I am forced to suspend play for today. Damn shame. There's always the next time, though. And who might I have the pleasure? Geralt of Rivia, independent contractor. I'm told some of the finest gather here to play dice. Ah, very true. Welcome. Among the finest. Devil take it all! This cursed gambling will be my undoing! Do me a favor and refrain from challenging me in the future! Not a problem. No need to get agitated. and the city guards just stare at skirts.
Welcome to the Hairy Bear. How can I help? I'm looking for a place to stay. You've come to the right place. I'll take a look around if you don't mind. Yes? Evening. How'd you like to try your luck at a drinking contest? <laughs> Respect to the honourable gentleman. Your reward. This fistful of orange just might save my neck. Bear, how can I help? I'm looking for a place to stay. You've come to the right place. I'll take a look around if you don't mind. Yes? Someone stole my trousers. Wait till I catch them.
Man, this is nasty weather. Depends how you look at it. Playing optimist. Hmm. What do you want? Listen, I'm looking for herbs. Anything growing in the cemetery? Well, there's bryonia, celandine, verbena, and fool's parsley. Remember to pick the bryonia in daytime. It's liable to be overly moist if picked at night on account of the dew. I guess you know your herbs. Grasses, weeds, you know. Some varieties can be good for certain ailments. <laughs> Any idea of the monsters I'll find inside? Hmm, you really a witcher? All right. Well, there's ghouls, owl ghouls, wraiths, and vampires. Like any cemetery. Quite a selection. What do you want? Gunn told me to see you. Gunn does have some inane ideas, but what can I do? Seeing he's my former commander. All right, young man. Try to beat me at dice. Let's see what you've got up your sleeve. I'll be an artless, dizzy-eyed hedge pig. You beat me. Not many have, mind you. Especially when I was young and no one thought to accuse me of cheating, so I played with the weighted dice all the time. Hey! <laughs> Make sure to tell Gun I won. Though how that makes me trustworthy, I'll never know. Oh, I will, I will. Listen, I had this cane I found once on a thief's corpse. Looked to me like a sorcerer's staff. Maybe you can sell it off to someone, generate some more coin to help out your friend Dandelion. I'm sure I can make some use of it. On. Take care.
What do you want? Listen, I found this thing. It looks ancient, like a sorcerer's staff. It cannot be. A bent handle, acacia wood. This is clearly the staff of Jan Becker, the first human to tame the power. Everton, not to spoil your day, but Becker arrived by boat with the first exiles, and that was a while back. I mean, he was the one to actually harness the natural elements and train the first mages. You know how long ago that was? Of course I do. But I see no problem. It's the educational potential of the exhibited pieces that counts, not their authenticity. I'll need to make a placard immediately. Fifty orans for you, and please accept this ring as a sign of my gratitude for your efforts. Thanks. Nice bauble could be useful. What do you want? Non-humans are behind the evil here. I've had not to eat in three days. I don't know where this racism originates. My friend Hal... Yes, what is it? Yes, what is it? So, I beat all your friends at their games. Though how that proves I can be trusted, I'll never know. Aye, they all seem to think you're all right. One challenge remains, a classic duel with swords until one of us yields. You don't stand a chance, Gun. I'm a witcher. I've always wanted to see one of your kind in action. Come on now, let's see that razor of yours. All right, let's do this. and spin like you. The half pirouettes, faints, lunges, pure poetry. Vesemir's training at Kaer Morhen. Not a one out there can match a witcher for speed, that's certain. But let's get back to what's important, that treasure. Listen, Gun. I gotta admit I've grown to like you and your company. Let's say we'll split what I find on the other side. Ah, nonsense. It's our wish as the band of brethren to help you, and that's that. You keep it all. All right, then. Let me hear it. Take this stone. They say it's magic. In the cemetery, you'll find a place of power. With this stone in hand, you'll be able to pass through it, like through a portal. What's on the other side? Don't know, never been. But they say elves hid a vast treasure there. 
You know the little she-elf, Laura Thiel? She was mighty interested in obtaining our little stone. Hmm, so there might be something to this after all. I'll keep my eyes peeled for her. I truly hope you'll find real treasure there. But beware, treasures are oft well guarded. Farewell, dwarf. Farewell, Witcher. Yes? I have something that might interest you. I trust you're not trying to seduce me, Witcher. Not this time. It's something else. I have a magic stone they say opens a passage to an elven hideout. How were you able to convince Gunn to surrender it? No matter. The object is worth more to me than you imagine. After all, it might lead to treasures. Artifacts that are part of my heritage. Hmm. I'll have to think about it.
What do you want? I found this old pendant representing Euroboros. Ah, Euroboros, the serpent swallowing its own tail, the symbol of death and rebirth, fate and infinity. It reminds us that each time something ends, something else begins. So you want to buy it? It'll be a fine addition to my collection. How does fifty orans sound? Care for some pot roast? Had friends over last night, but the cook simply produced too much. Thanks, the snake of fortune. It looks like its coils could throttle all those who stray off their path. Listen, you've done wonders for my collection, and I'd like to reward you somehow. I've been told you're in dire need of money, so please allow me to assist you with these four hundred orans. Whoa, that helps. Think nothing of it. It's merely a drop in the sea that is the estate my ancestors left me. What do you want? To the hairy bear. I'm looking for a place to stay. You've come to the right place. I'll take a look around if you don't mind. Yes.
Yes. About that debt. Got the money already? Two thousand. Take it. Two thousand? When Dandelion came by whining for a loan, I clearly remember mentioning it would cost him. I've waited a swiving long time for my money, so sorry, but you'll have to pay me interest. How much? A thousand orins. Watch what you say, Witcher. You're stomping on mighty thin ice and I'm underneath waiting for it to crack. Don't push it, Glover. We agreed on two thousand. Witcher. Any idea what a nemesis is? It's someone who inflicts rightful retribution or vengeance. In this case, it's embodied by one mean son of a bitch. Yours truly. Just one comment. Sons of bitches who threaten me or my friends bring out the rabid wolf in me. Boys, it seems the Witcher has challenged you to a fight. When you're done with him, bring him down to the cellar. My wyverns are hungry. Geralt, 
Nice of you to visit a dear friend in need. I resolved matters with Glover. We need to leave the city pretty quickly. Oh, that's a load off my back, let me tell you. Thanks, Geralt. To be honest, I was not looking forward to expiring in a pool of my own blood down some dark alley. Later, Dandelion. Put it in a ballad. Now grab your shit and let's get out of town. Actually, we'll hit a bathhouse first. You stink something awful. Vizima seemed a hostile shore, so we left the city and roamed the land. Jeremiah Trick, known also as Ramsmeat, stepped into Glover's boots. With no interest in wyverns, he turned Glover's pets into steak and began trading in Fistek to support a robust appetite. But that is another story. <laughs>